Hi guys. Um, welcome back to Honeybee's Hive. I'm Honeybee. And um, basically, so what is going on today? Oh, I guess let me do this first. But basically, let me, let me, let me explain to you what's going on today. So what I'm doing today is it's pretty much as you see. Um, you know, queen of fair finding here. So these are a couple of pieces that I found in the thrift store. And this piece I am just about done with. Um, so, but before I go in and tell you more about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, um, I wanna remind you to subscribe if you haven't already done so, so that you make sure that you're getting notifications when new videos are coming out. And, um, and just so that you're, you know, you're caught up, especially when you want to, you know, when we do votes and stuff like that. And eventually we're going to be doing um, giveaways. So you just want to make sure that you're getting your notifications so that you can make sure that, you know, um, you know, you're getting, <laughs> you're getting information timely. Also, um, you want to go ahead and what well, I would like for you <laughs> to go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video I hope that you do um, and leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this video and share the video if you feel that someone else may benefit from it or this is this is information that you feel that um, you want to share with somebody else so let's go ahead and get started so what I'm doing is um, you know that I did my, um, the vintage doll corner and those are thrift finds too. So what I'm doing basically is I am taking you with me and showing you my process. So, and honestly, this just really hit me <laughs> a little while ago to do this. So my apologies. I would have took you with me when I found the furniture and everything, but I, um, <laughs> Like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm late to the game. <laughs> so this piece right here, I picked up at Value, Value, Village, Value Village and 12 bucks. And honestly, it was really in pretty good shape. Um, the, the board here was, you know, not, it was loose. It was, I had to put it back in there, which was very simple. I just had to loosen it, shove it back in there squish it back in and uh, make sure these are tightened and it was a little wobbly at first and now it is not wobbly at all so did good on that it's pretty light too i actually um, was able to put that in my back of my car myself um this not so much it's not that heavy but it's um uh, i had my son go back and get this one for me so what i did on this one is i there was i touched up the white um, I had to mix to get this exact color because um, I didn't paint this. I just touched up on this. These I did. I decided to do um, to paint it because it had a had some a stain or two. They weren't real bad stains, but I mean, you know, WTH. Why not just go ahead and, and paint it? So I have, I do, I do a lot of this stuff anyway. Um, I pick up stuff in a thrift store when I want to, depending on what it is that I want to do. And I would do a, D, a DIY myself. Um, I did do my own desk um, when, when we went, you know, when COVID happened and we went, uh, well, I knew I was going to eventually be working from home, but just didn't expect it to happen so soon. It should have been, it, it should have been um, a few more months before that, maybe half a year, maybe at least six months before um, I actually started working um, from home. So I wasn't prepared for that. So I had no desk, I had nothing. So I um, went and bought a desk from Oh my gosh, it was like weeks and weeks and weeks of um, days and actually just days because, you know, I had to get this really quick. So it was days and days of going in and out of thrift stores trying to find the desk that I actually wanted. So, and I wanted a, a large executive desk. That's what I wanted. So I found me one finally and 
I did the whole nine yards. I stripped it, I sanded it, I um, smoothed that out, and then I painted it. When I finished it, it was very fulfilling to see my finished project. Will I ever do that again? No. That was a lot of work. I will not do that again. I have a table out there in the garage that I started at um, the same time. And I, I, it's, it's partially sanded, partially stripped, partially sanded. Well, I'll say partially stripped because that's what I started doing. I was partially stripped and it will probably not get finished <laughs> because it was just a lot of work. I finished my desk though because I was determined and I'll show you pictures of that. Um, I think I have pictures on my phone of when I was working on it and when I finished it. So I, I'll, um, hopefully you can see those like now. <laughs> um, but yeah, and my daughter also, she had made a coffin um, bookshelf. And I mean, it turned out great, but it, it, and she had, she had, we had bought a saw, um, a table, a saw thingy, which you put the, the, I think you put the wood through it. I can't remember. We did this like, couple of years ago I think yeah about almost two years ago and we have I mean I I saw was still out there I don't touch it no more <laughs> she doesn't touch it no more these projects were hers are even even more difficult hers I still well gosh yeah no so that type of stuff is not for me <laughs> I'm more of a more simpler type of DIY <laughs> So what I did, what I did here basically is what I just not told you I did. Simple DIY. I am not stripping anything. I'm not reupholstering anything <laughs> because that is just not for me. <laughs> and I know that now. <laughs> and, and that's the thing though, you know, you don't know until you try. So it's something you see and you're like, you know what? I think I can do that. Okay, get out there and do it. You do it, you try it, you finish that project, and you're so proud of yourself when you finish that project. You're so proud that, of what you made, but then you, need, then you can decide if that is for you or not. Me, it was not. Um, start to finish like that is not. If I wanted something done, I will pay someone. I will just go ahead and pay someone who has already done it because uh, whatever they're charging, it's worth it. Because a lot of work goes into that. Oh my gosh. A lot of work goes into someone um, taking furniture, stripping it, and, and then re, and re, um, repurposing it. A lot of work goes into that. Yes, a lot of work. And even building something from scratch like my daughter did. A lot of work goes into that. A lot of work. A lot of frustration. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. So anyway, I bought this piece right here. And um, so what I'm going to go ahead and start doing what I'm going to do with it. And I'll talk to you as I'm doing it. Um, I won't be. I'm just going to keep talking and let you know what it is that I'm doing. But I won't be talking during the video more than likely. It's because. I'll probably be watching a lot of TV and this is going to take a little while and I'm just not going to do that. So what I'm doing right now is I am taking out the screws. I'm taking the shells out because I saw someone do that and I was like, okay, you know, good idea. So this one should be able to come out. Yeah, I have one there. Oh, so my goal in this project is to, I have a goal. So my hair is pulled up and uh, 
Oh no. Guess what? It's got nails in the back. Oh crap. They didn't show that part. So do I pull it out? What do I do? Let me see. I'm just going to do one and see what it looks like and see if this is what I want to do. Oh, I did not plan for that. Let's see. Hers, she, hers just, she unscrewed it and I swear, hers just came right out. Okay, okay so it's not coming out. And this is not, it's not that wood. So, um, this is my goal. What I wanted to do was, I was going to remove these, and I still might. I think I need to get my son's help. And um, I'm going to paint it white and pink, pink back, like I did with the other one. So this will all be white, and the back of it will be pink, like I did with the other shelf. So, but I have a situation here is because there are nails in the back here, and it's nailed on back there in the back. So, I am going to put a screw in here to keep, to not put so much uh, on those nails back there if I don't want it to tear or anything. And I'll put this one in here too, just to help hold these shelves up. And I'm gonna get some help when my son gets here on what to do about those nails in the back and if it's a good idea to take it apart or not because like I said um, I mean yeah I could take it apart and I can um, I could put the nail I can nail it back but like I said I'm not trying to do a whole you know revamp of some furniture because I just don't want to uh, so, anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. And this will probably be the last time you hear me talking. Um, when the rest of the video will probably be in um, warp speed. Yeah, let me check it in. So, love you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, and I will also take you along with me as I put it together in the, in the nursery. Okay, so have fun, enjoy.
Buffalo. <clears throat> okay, so this is what, so I finished the pieces and I have put them in the room and I'm going to show you um, where I put them at and well, you can already see here's one of the pieces right here and I'm going to go over um, what I've done with them so far. I'm still not satisfied. <laughs> I am great with how they came out. Um, that's fine. It's just, I'm still not exactly, it didn't exactly serve the purpose I wanted it to serve. So, um, I moved some things around like this. I moved over here from the corner and I haven't exactly put it up yet. Right. So it's here loosely. Um, I pulled it out of another corner that my Paradise Gallery babies were on and I put it over here. Um, they will go over here, but I'm just not certain just yet if I'm going to keep this one or find something else. I don't know. But anyway, let me get behind the camera so I can point out everything and show you what I've done. So here, um, this is the, the, um, the bookshelf that I was painting. And as you see, it came out, I think it came out pretty good. So the babies I've got on here so far is I got my two big babies at the top. Um, Maddie, and I think that is, is it Love Bug? I don't know, I can't remember. But, um, and then we got, is it turning? Yeah, we got Bianca and my other baby over there. And then I put the Cheyenne over there and the new babies the, that I just got, that's Babbles right there. And on the third shelf down there, I started at the top and I'm going down. So on the bottom shelf, you have um, the baby I just opened up the other day and the, um, and the vintage doll, that's a Riva baby too, baby Ellie. And then there's my, there is my Stephen Awake and there's my um, first baby I had gotten off of Amazon. And there is space in the cabinet where I can put stuff in there as well. It has two shelves. So, uh, on the shelf beside it, I'm going to put the Paradise Gallery Babies there. Um, I want to put the Reva Babies somewhere else, but I don't know. I'm still working on that. And as you see, these are these little ones here. They're just kind of like sitting around, uh, wondering where they're going to be. <laughs> but, um... Uh, Oh, that little, sh that um, shelf right there that you see in that cart is what I'm going to put the, um, my hair stuff on and some other little odds and ends stuff. So let me move you over to, let me see, I don't know if I can get it over there. Okay. And here I put the bassinet here and in the bassinet we have, um, the silicone babies. So we have, um, there is Destiny and there is my avatar baby. And then there's little, what did I name him? <laughs> Corey. There's little Corey. <laughs> did I name him? No, I think my son named him. My son named him. So there's little Corey. And and this is where I put the, the other piece. So hold on. Mm -hmm. And here is where I put the changing table. Because I figure it would be really cute to, like, you know, change the babies there and everything. It just sits over here in a corner. Um, these two babies that you see, the crochet babies, I made those a while ago. Um, I made them a few years ago. Is this fine too? 
uh, about two, three, two years, two and a half years ago. Um, I'd make them when I was traveling and I'm staying in the hotels. So it kind of gave me something to do with my time. And also when I was on the plane, I flew from here all the way to um, Philadelphia. Oh my God, it was the longest plane ride. <laughs> so while I was on the plane, I would work on, I would, I crocheted them. I worked on those two. So I chose the roses. Uh, roses, um, I think I'm sticking with roses. I think I see, I, I seem to always gear towards roses. And I think the reason why is because um, my, my foster sister, her nickname was Rose. And I remember when she passed away, I had done my kitchen in Rose. Well, I hadn't. And I, you know what? I didn't even intentionally um, get these because of that, I, you know, but then I got them and um, I chose this particular print for the, um, you see the, the cover over the, the changing pad, it's roses. And then I put the roses in the back and this was all before I even really thought about it. I think we do things sometimes you may do something and you not even realize why you're doing it. So I have two of those and in the, in here is also, you'll find the, let me see if I can go in there. So in here is also another, it's rose too. So it came like two in a pack and it was this one and that one in roses. This right here is, we picked this up at Value Village. Uh, my daughter actually, um, she liked this one because it had the monsters on it. <laughs> so it, it did turn out, it is pretty cute though. I do like, it's nice and thick too. And I paid about a couple of dollars for that. And um, so let's go back over here. So, and over here, let me come over here so I can, I'll just show you what we got. So, um, like I said, this one I crocheted. Um, she was one of, was she the first one? No, I think this one was the first one that I made. And then this was the second one that I made. So they're just little crochet dolls. Um, before I started, you know, buying the dolls and collecting the dolls, actually, I made these for me. And... <laughs> My little dolls went everywhere with me when I was traveling. So I just put them in my suitcase and I took them. And they always were in the room when I left them on the bed. When I would leave and I'd come back to the room and they were there. Um, this right here, I picked up at the, at the value village too. I think it was like 99 cents. That's pretty cute. It's a little rattle. Um, it's a little elephant. It says little star. It's really pretty cute. I just thought it was cute. I like elephants. And this little blanket I picked up at the, um, the thrift store as well um bought these on amazon the pad i bought on amazon thrift store um i bought i think I, those baskets i picked up at burlington coat factory and this is a thrift store too i picked this one out it's it's also pretty thick it washes well too and i like the little heart it had on there the little flowers so I just put this up here add a little you know I like pink and then I just kind of uh, put the roses up there I took this down I had my stand up here with my American dolls on there and some of my other um, little items in my cups that I got when I was traveling um my star my Starbucks cups so I'll move them someplace else I don't know where but 
I will move them elsewhere. Um, this right here, I crochet. So I had made this for a young lady who was uh, going to have a baby, but um, she lost the baby. So um, oh, what's that? And uh, I just kept it. It's really pretty. And it's soft. It's made out of. Um, I think I used the baby yarn. You know, the the soft baby yarn. Um, and I did it in the yellow because we didn't know if she was going to have a boy or a girl. So I tried to do a neutral gender blankie. And, well, I guess that's it. And then I just kind of, you know, stock the diapers down there. And um, these are the newborn clothes. These are um, preemie clothes preemie diapers um, I got all size diapers down here all the way from one to six and uh, well newborn to six sorry newborn to six and training pants and um, let me see I think that's pretty much it uh, the bottles and stuff are in here um, towels washcloths um, I use those to clean the babies up. Usually when I get the new ones um, uh, that need cleaning up, I will usually use those towels. I also use them for to clean the silicone babies too when I bathe them. I don't bathe them too often. The ones I got are not sticky or anything. So they don't seem to accumulate any lint or anything. So I don't really have to do too much with them. <laughs> Um, so that's it. And then that, oh, on that little basket right there, only thing is in it, the one that's on the floor over here, I was washing up some of their laundry right there. So I was washing up some of their laundry and that's still some clothes that I need to put up. And, and where the other little doll is, another little basket right there beside it is blankets. So, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I don't know just yet uh, exactly what I want to do. But this area over here, I love this area right here. I really do. That's my favorite area now. Um, hold on. Okay. So, um, so this area over here is the part that I am kind of like struggling with. Um, because I really do like the way it came out. It's just that it just does not fit everything that I wanted it to fit. But I knew that going into it when I saw it and I started painting on it, I knew what I was working with and that's okay. <laughs> but like this area over here, I just think there's too many babies over here. I mean, I really like, like my babies. I like seeing my babies. But um, I think there's too many babies over here. So, you know, having a few over there is okay. But I want to find a place for them to, to actually be able to sit. And I can take them out as I want to. Well, take them down. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I'm going to still work on that, um, but I'm, I'm going to take a break from it right now. You know what? I need to put some lights over here. It's kind of dark over here in this area. <laughs> Why am I sitting over here and I noticed that? I'm like, huh, it's a little dark over here. But anyway, um, well, not really over here a lot, so, yeah, and because... And the reason why I, I don't want them sitting over here is because everyone runs to this window when, you know, we see something like if some, because this window pretty much um, sees everything in the front. So everyone runs to this window to look out the window. So I don't want them 
uh, but you know, messing with the babies. And I don't want to have to move them every time either. So I don't know. I'll figure something out. I was thinking, I don't know. I'll continue thinking. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to take a break. And that's I finally just went ahead and said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do the video the way it is. <laughs> because me thinking on this is only going to just uh, start stressing me out. And I didn't want to do that. So, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My little DIY. Um the these are really easy to make though um that piece over there cost me $29.99 I got it at Goodwill this one over here was 12 bucks I got it at Value Village um all I did was I didn't prep them or anything as you saw in the videos all I did was clean them and then I started painting them uh, because I, I, I didn't want to um it's it's probably best that you do. I think this one I did not need to. It's going to be fine. That one is laminated. Lemon lacquer. Lacquer. Is that what it's called? I don't know. And it's probably, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I just went ahead and just painted it. Um, I'm fine with it. Like I said, it was just a $30 piece. That's fine. Uh, but what I was what I was saying earlier is I pro I could have got that cheaper had I gone to Value Village, but that's okay. So that's all that I have for now. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a little my how you know my DIY of when I go to the you know I and I I kind of do this quite a bit depending. Um. And I think I was going to add the, oh, I did add them. Earlier you saw the desk that I did. So yeah, I had, I had done that and that was a, over, that was a complete, um, oh my God, overhaul of that desk. So it came out really good. Um, I use it now. It's over here in my office and I like it. I still do. Very proud of it. It's the size I wanted and everything. It's solid. Oh my God, that, that sucker is solid. It's wood, all wood. Um, so, yeah. So that's all that I have. Uh, I think I'm getting kind of tired. I'm going to lay down. It's kind of late. I might do a little bit of work. I don't know. <sighs> More coffee. I am thirsty though. But anyway, <laughs> thanks guys for watching. Um, Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. So, love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Uh, weekend is coming. We got one more day. Um, well, actually, today is Friday. So, yay, it's Friday. For me, this is my last day of the week. Oh, and I think, don't we have a week? Don't we have a, um, is it Monday a holiday? I think so. I'm not for sure, but I think Monday the holiday. I'm going to have to check if that's the case. Then, what is that, a three-day weekend? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three-day weekend. Three-day weekend. Three-day weekend. That's something to get excited about. So, but anyway, I said, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, love you guys. Toodles. Peace.